Hey gorgeous, welcome back to the makeup aisle. Today's video is going to be my weekly follow-up video for my everyday um, makeup drawer. If you watch my everyday makeup drawer video for the month of July, you know that I am going uh, through a different format of using that. I have noticed over the last several months that what I'm doing, which is good and not good, I've been reaching for my favorites and I've really been letting a lot of these products kind of just, you know, kind of hit the back of the drawer, not really uh, using them. So for me, if you're gonna do an everyday makeup drawer, the purpose of that is to rotate through your collection, whether it's every week or every month or however you like to do it, it's the point of actually using everything that you have. And so I have noticed probably two to three months already that I'm just continuously grabbing for the same stuff, even though I'm pulling, you know, uh, four concealers and, and, and several blushes, I just keep reaching for the same thing. So this month, what I decided to do, and I will continue to do this, um, you know, from here on out, is that I broke the month into weeks and I use my Muji drawer. So each drawer signifies a week. So everything I'm going to use for the week is in that drawer and I touch nothing else. It did get a little boring because sometimes you want to reach for something else. But I told myself, you don't want to do that because the point of this is to use what you have. And when you rotate it out, keep using that stuff. I mean, there's stuff that I've pulled out for some um, monthly makeup drawers that do not get touched. So I have to leave them in there for the next month. So I, as boring as it was, I think after a couple of days, I actually do like this um, so far. It's only been one week, but I do like the fact that I'm able to use these things and have to use them for five straight days. So the first thing I have here is the ColourPop uh, Saucy Pressed Powder Palette. This is in collaboration with I Love Sahari. And that is what it looks like. If you've seen any of my videos um, talking about the ColourPop pressed shadows, you already know that I love these shadows. These are some of my favorite pressed shadows. The fact that they're very inexpensive, but really still good quality is like ColourPop comes out with stuff and they just kill it. I absolutely love it. I did not use this top shade, but I did use all these three shades and I actually was able to use this palette. I want to say four out of the five days. I've been making a conscious effort to just even 10 minutes earlier and just put together a quick look will help me to rotate uh, through my shadows, help me actually use my shadows because I don't use them every day. So I just find that the palettes are just sitting there and I'm trying to get away from that and really use what I have in my collection. The next thing I used is the Bronze Booster from Physicians Formula and that is what it looks like. I'm trying not to blind you because it is very reflective, but you have a light powder shade um, up top, a grayer tone here in the middle, which I actually love to use when I contour, and then a darker one down here to bronze. So I use the middle and the uh, third one uh, to contour into bronze, and I absolutely love it. It just goes on nicely, it blends out really nicely, it lasts, and the darker shade, which is the third shade, is so perfect for how my skin tone is now during the summer that it just looks gorgeous on the side of my face. It looks so bronze, but not so much so that it looks crazy. It just adds that nice glow to the skin and almost like a healthful, like a healthy glow. Um, even though none of these uh, powders here do have shimmer or glitter, they have none of that. They're all matte. But it still just adds a little something to the skin that I absolutely love. And I have talked about this before. This is actually made um, monthly favorites before, and it's one of my favorite like contour um, bronzing palettes. The foundation that I used this week, and I actually used uh, two of them, but the liquid foundation that I used this week is the L foundation that I talked about before. So it comes in, this is the way it looks. It's a uh, frosted glass um, container, and then you have a pump, which I really, really love. This is far and away one of my favorite drugstore foundations, and I bought it kind of on a whim. It was $6. I said, well, let me try, because I always like to try um, new products to bring your reviews or that sort of thing. It is one of the best foundations I have ever used. Um, it gives you a very airbrushed, very flawless look. I always set my foundation with powder, but this is nice and mattifying, and I have oily skin, I have very oily T-zone, so during the summer especially, I try not to use anything that's luminous or adds any more moisture or like slickness to the skin. This is a really good foundation. If you can find it in store, again, it's $6. 
Um, there's no name to it, but in the back it just says oil free. It has also SPF 15, which is really good. And this is the shade Buff if you are uh, curious as to what I use on my skin. So the second um, foundation that I use, and again, if you watch my videos, you know that this is a staple. It is in every um, monthly makeup drawer, no matter what, because I don't use liquid or cream foundations every day for the week. So I have my Ma uh, Mary Kay mineral powder foundation this is in beige too i use beige 1.5 in the winter but when i am a little more tan the beige 2 works perfectly uh, you can build this up without it looking cakey i've been using this for years so it's one of those things that's tried and true and like i said it literally never comes out of the everyday makeup drawer it is always in there and once i start a new container i always order a backup or two because i never want to be without that for powder this week, I use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil, and this is what it looks like. It is pretty dark. It looks pretty dark, but um, again, my skin is tan right now because it is summer, so this works perfectly. I use a very light hand with this powder, though, because I don't want to make my skin um, look so, so tan and then everything else look like, you know, really white or whatever. Um, but the powder itself is very good. It is very finely milled. It blends out nicely. It doesn't look cakey throughout the day. Um, I really do like it in my T-zone. I feel that it works very well um, with my oily skin. Highlighter for this week is my Ride or Die. It is my Holy Grail, What Mermaids Are Made Of from Love Lux Beauty. And I have shown this before. This is what it looks like. I'm going to see if we can get that to focus, but it is quite reflective. There it is. So you see all those gorgeous reflex and it does have like mermaid scales. This is without a doubt my favorite highlighter. It just adds something to the skin. It just makes you glow and look beautiful. You can use a light hand with it or really pile it on and they could see you like coming from miles away. For a foundation primer this week, I use the NYX Angel Veil, which is an oil-free primer. It is almost moisturizer based or feeling, but it doesn't leave the skin feeling slick or oily. It's not as mattifying as some of the others that I've used, but it is a really good primer and I do like it. For corrector and concealer this week, I used uh, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Orange and then the Weightless Concealer that you see here. Um, I have talked about this corrector before. I absolutely love it. I love the delivery system on this because it's exactly like their concealer. So you have the doe foot applicator there. Um, so you don't have to necessarily like dig into a pot or anything. And the orange shade is absolutely perfect for my dark under eye circles. The uh, Naked Skin Concealer, I've talked about this as well. I have used this for many years. It is one of my favorite concealers. I do have to get a new one though because this is probably almost right at the bottom. But I love how creamy it is. I love how easy it is to blend out. Um, and it just looks gorgeous under the eyes. Another product that I added for eyeshadow was the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment. And that is in Rave, which is their purple. Um, I actually only used this one day. I put it on my bottom lash line and then smudged it out with the purple eyeshadow that was in the ColourPop Pressed Powder Palette. That's a lot of peas, damn. Um, but I've used this before. I've had this for a while. Absolutely love it. Um, I didn't put it all over the eyelid this time around, and that's what I usually will do. I just wanted to add a little pop of color on the bottom because it is extremely, extremely bright. It's not glittery per se, but there's this like iridescence to it that just makes that purple pop. For blush, I used my Instain blush from The Balm and that was in Hound's Tooth. One of my favorite blushes, hands down. This has made uh, favorites before. I have talked about this a lot. I absolutely love the Instain blushes. They are extremely pigmented and last a long time. And when I say you need a light hand to apply this, I truly mean it. Like I'll pop my brush in there a little bit and then like tap off excess because you'll just get a gorgeous wash of color. The pigmentation on these blushes is absolutely crazy. The last item I have here is a lip product, and I actually did use this every day. I was proud of myself because it is a very dark color or darker than what I'm used to, um, but this is the Revlon HD uh, lipstick. It's a newer product, and this is in HD Twilight 770, and that's what it looks like. It's purple. Um, very, very gorgeous color, but again, much darker than what I'm used to on a day-to-day -day basis. 
So that's what it looks like right there. But it is absolutely gorgeous on the lips. So I made it a point to make sure that I put this lipstick on every single day before I left the house. The last item I have is actually a um, something that really surprised me when I used it um, and not in a good way. This is the Tarte Silk Amazonian Clay Eyeliner. This is the black one. I actually have several of these. I had gotten them in a set some time ago. Um, and I wanted to pull it out because I keep using the same black eyeliner. So I said, well, let me use this eyeliner. I've heard good things about it. People say it's long lasting. So I actually used it to line the bottom waterline. I was probably in the car about 10 or 15 minutes. And I don't know if it started breaking up or what, but my eyes started burning to shit. And I'm like, I'm not using anything different except this damn eyeliner. Literally, I rubbed my eyes so much that I had to reapply my eyeshadow. That's how bad it was. My eye was just absolutely running like a faucet. Like, I, I just let it go because it was burning so damn much. And I was trying to, like, close my eye and drive with one eye. It was horrendous. So, I don't know what your experience has been. Again, with like anything, you try it. If you like it, that's great. I can tell you I will never use this eye pencil again. My eye felt like somebody had lit a fire on my cornea and just let it roll. So unfortunately, Tarte, the Amazonian clay eyeliner did not work for me, but that's okay because I love Tarte as you know, as a whole, you're not going to like every item from every brand, but, um, yeah, I don't want burning eyes, especially when I'm driving. I don't want to run over a small child or a dog when I'm trying to get to work. I want to get to the office, not to jail. So, well, that's going to do it for this weekly video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick update of what I was using this week. Next week, actually tomorrow, because tomorrow's Monday, I will be using the second drawer and only those items. So I will bring you a very quick review video at the end of next week. Again, just talking about the products, what I liked, what I didn't, what worked, what didn't. Um, and I just hope this format works for you. Like I said, it got a little boring after the first couple of days, but I do want to continue to do it because I need to really rotate through my collection. So thanks again for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Please be sure to subscribe before you leave. Make sure you click that little bell so you're alerted as to whenever I upload new content. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.